Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and today we're going to be playing some more Abzan Knights on MTG Arena. Just a reminder, if you haven't done so already, if you could just hit that subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner, the little YouTube subscribe icon, it goes a long way to supporting the channel and keeps helping me put out great content for you, the, the viewer, to enjoy. Uh, so this was a, a deck that was fairly popular uh, on the channel, got a lot of good feedback on the deck. Uh, so it is a creature-based mid-range aggro deck uh, focused around knights. Um, so from version 1 to 2, the changes we made is we dropped the two Trust Sanis in the main. Um, just didn't find much value with them. We went up to a second Vivian and uh, Shalai in its place uh, just to protect our board and uh, protects us against some direct damage burn spells. Uh, we also went up one green source cutting the swamp for the Overgrown Tomb. And in the sideboard, we added a, a Mortal Sun in place of the Shalai that we moved. Uh, just the, some more play against Control. Turns off a lot of the Planeswalkers there. So we'll take it for a spin in the best of three league and see how it goes. I was playing around with Gates. Wasn't really fond of the build that I ended up with. I think we need to play Nexus of Gates. So we'll see if we can get... I've been playing a lot of jank, so we get up to like gold, almost tier to platinum, and then we fall back down because I insist on playing Jund Aristocrats, trying to make that a thing. Uh, but let me know what you think of the changes in the comments. I think it gives us some more game against removal decks. Uh, I think we mulligan this. We don't have a black source for play on two, and we still need to hit a second white for Benalia. Keep this hand. Okay. So not bad. We can Knight of Grace on turn two. We're playing against a white deck. Hopefully weenies. Okay. So our opponent's got a slow draw as well. So I wanted to hit the land there. Uh, so this is the nice thing with these knights. We effectively effectively turn themselves into three, two first strikers. Not sure what the opponent's on. Mono white control, perhaps. Uh, we'll give them the land. So here we'll kill the Karn. So the Tithe Taker we can't kill on our turn, oh, their turn anyways. So here I'll play the Knight of Autumn and just make it a 4-3. This does open us up if they, okay, so it looks like Oh, Cleansing Nova. It's a weird deck that they're playing. So here we'll just shock in for Benalia. The Tithe Taker Cleansing Nova deck. So they'll play Binding. And Treasure Map. So here, we'll attack. Play a Dauntless Bodyguard and blow this up to get another token. We're doing this on our turn. We're not sure if they're playing Counter Magic and now they have the double blue up, so they're more likely to have it in that case. Now that they have double blue, we'll play on their turn. But if they're taking their turns off, we have six power. It's three turn clock. Also likely not going to commit more to the board. It doesn't really change the clock because we have six damage here. Going up to eight, still 14, so we're short. So very odd deck. Probably make a token here. So 
here we'll attack with both. They're kind of priced into down ticking dove in anyways. They'll gain one life each time, but I think it's still right to just go after them. So very strange deck, just looks like a collection of cards. Double binding. So here, we'll attack with a three. We'll get the pump next turn. So that might be what they're waiting to protect against. I think if I was them, I'd double block if you're going to trade. It takes a token off the board. So here we get another knight. They have to. That's gross. So they exile our board. Uh, no, we won't. Just in case they have to trade, we can get it back. Oh, they get the Benalias. That's even better. So it looks like some sort of blue-white mid-range with bad card draw. Uh, actually, we can play this better. So we can play the Knight of Grace. And then get this out as well. And then we'll get the two Knights off this. Last turn. So a good amount of pressure. Opponent will likely down tick if I were them. Play to fairy. It just seems like a really bad version of Esper Hero. Out of the side, probably bring in the Assassin's Trophy. Find finality could be good if they're going to be exiling our stuff, or even if they just kill it, we can cycle back. They drew with Teferi. So they flip the map. They could be playing Settle as well. So I think with these coming off, they'll get pretty large pumps, so I think it's still correct we attack our opponent, because we're not going to be able to kill, that will hold off on you. Why are you doing that? Attack, attack, attack.
Benelish Marshall would be good. Even a Midnight Reaper, just in case they kill anything. So they'll get the token off the afterlife. And we end the turn here. So next turn, this will go off. We get four power increase. Uh, they do have that. So opponent might be fine in the end. Fairly aggressive. Just get the loyalty up. Opponent definitely has the advantage. Okay, so we'll just call it quits of playing one of the most random decks I've seen. Uh, so I'd say let's bring in Duras. Um, Mortal Sun. And a couple bindings. Uh, the Night Reaper. Probably get rid of Shalai here. Probably go down a couple Knight of Grace. Might go down all the Knight of Grace actually. This has protection from white at least. And they have a lot of one threes. Let's try it like this. So. Mass manipulation to fairy and a bunch of small dorky creatures with sweepers. Sounds good. Last turn. So next turn we'll go Temple Garden tapped unless we get a two drop. And then depending on how their board shapes up, I might go Midnight Reaper. Or we just go super aggressive with the Benalia. We can catch one. Uh, okay, so they have the Tithe Taker here. So here I think we go one Benalia into Midnight Reaper. And then that way we can attack with both next turn. If they want to block, they can. And with Deputy of Detention, I want to diversify our threats at least. It's playing syncopate. Uh, here, no attacks.
a woodland cemetery here. Let's see if they want to take the trade. These deputies are actually really good against their deck. Let's just run out another Benalia. Draw two. Okay. Midnight Reaper is actually pretty good here. So here we're going to try to get him to double block. the deputy. This wipes their board. Like if they have a sweeper, we still draw three. They play Tithe Taker. So here I'm going to opt not to. I still want the option of the card draw. They play Teferi. See if they want to offer the trade here. Don't. Let's see if they have a counter spell. So just, I really like this card right now in the format. Every mode is really relevant. Here we have the biggest creature on board. We can blow up if they had like a binding or anything like that, treasure map, and we could gain life against more aggressive decks. So here... Try to draw it a counter spell. Okay, so the important thing here is they don't have settle up, so I feel more comfortable attacking in. So we'll go like that. So they'd have to double block, it gets the fairy down. Actually. Do you here? You here? You here? I don't want to go everything at the ferry. Okay, so they're double blocking here. Let me draw a card. Gets the fairy off the board. There's quite a bit of power we can pump out next turn. Depending what they play though, we may opt. Okay, so they have the binding. 
We really open ourselves up to sweeper that way. So I'll probably wait at least a turn. We'll try to use it as a surprise element. Okay, so they play Dream Eater. What did they return to our hand? They trade there. Okay. So that tells me they don't have a sweeper. So this is the biggest thing on this can trade, okay. Probably worth reading the cards. So we can probably take a couple more turns of taking the two damage. That was a good draw for them. Vivian's really good here. Hopefully it sticks. This is really random deck list. Okay, so I think we need to get rid of the Tez. Last turn. They probably got us though at this point. Yep, yeah, we'll concede that. They're going to be too far ahead. So that was a really random deck we played. I don't know how much we can really draw into it, but uh, we'll come back with a couple more ones. Thanks for watching and have a great one.